My name is Matthew Woodward of Matthew Woodward Architecture and we are the architectural team involved in this great project, Kawada Residence. Functional beauty is, is what we like to achieve in our architecture, so I think this space definitely sums that up. My name is Ethan Oberman, uh, I'm the owner. We purchased this property when we were living in New York. What I realized along the way is that this, this style of construction and the way we did the design, it isn't something that is typically seen in Sydney. Double Bay is a leafy, tree-lined uh, suburb with gorgeous parks and harborside beaches, so it's a very attractive place to live. I think a well-designed house means that, that every room is used every day. I'm Anna Treffoli of Esoterico Interior Architecture. I'm the lead designer and uh, director, and I was brought onto the project to help with interiors. Our decision-making with all the materials was really trying to reference some of the beauty of nature that we had through the views. It was important for the client that there was a level of truthfulness of all materials and that was really already set with the architecture. As one enters in off the street, you enter in through a garden forecourt. Once inside, the primary focus is a folded concrete stair with steel balustrade. As you continue into the floor plate, the kitchen, living and dining spaces become apparent. The primary focus in the kitchen is a beautifully detailed brass kidney-shaped island bench designed by Esoterico. As you move upstairs, at the western end of the floor plate, there is the master bedroom suite, which looks out over uh, the Valley District in the foreground and picks up the, the CBD skyline beyond. Transcending down to the lower ground level of the home, inside the family room, there is a USM hauler shelving on one side with American black walnut wet bar on the other. Looking out over the central garden courtyard, the pool becomes evident. Underneath the pool is the home office and gym. When we started the project, the theme for me was this idea of industrial chic. They wanted materials that were going to be raw, that were bold, and that evoked a feeling of warmth and honesty. We started with the concrete. Our intention was softening and harmonising with those harder-edged industrial materials. It's very brutal, the act of pouring concrete. So you're taking a lot of that brutality and the heaviness of it, and you're trying to make it feel delicate and artful. We looked at things that were inherent. Timbers, like walnuts. We looked at steel, brass. The beauty of these materials is they have a, a life of their own. It's inherently beautiful and it's inherently connected to that idea of the natural world. There are many playful moments throughout the home. And to be honest, it's a true reflection of Ethan and Lauren's personality. So one of the questions I get a lot is, why did you put a skylight in the pool? It was my sort of James Bond moment in this house. The sort of more practical answer is, I wanted to get some sun you know, into the office from the east. We unfolded this house as it was being constructed. We would uncover little nooks and crannies, opportunities from the architecture that we could turn into other little spaces. I also had the wonderful privilege of, of working with Anna to create a lot of the pieces in the house. We made a, a whole host of things from you know, side tables to dining room table to uh, paper towel holders. And it also made the house feel personal. When I visit the house, I'm most proud to see the successful result of collaboration. East Hoterico did a wonderful job in softening the architecture and bringing warmth into the internal spaces I'm very proud that we pulled it off. Amazing to sit here now and, and, and be in the house and live in the space and be very proud of, of what we created. <laughs>